How do you know if you live in one of the envied neighborhoods on Staten Island? Or maybe you were thinking about moving here and don't know where the best neighborhoods are. If you ask residents of Staten Island and don't ask them, unless you want to create a huge argument between the North Shore and the South Shore. I don't like fighting, so let's stop the fighting and use the real data from our MLS instead, okay? Are you ready? I am, so let's get started. No, in all fairness though, I personally believe that Staten Island is beautiful all over, and so it really is more about the type of house you prefer to live in, and the affordability factor too. It really is more about the type of the house you prefer to live in. If your taste is a charming and older type of home, then you will be, probably have a better shot finding it on the North Shore. Say like St. George, for example. If your taste is having amazing views, then you will very much like the neighborhood we have in the Mid-Island section of Staten Island. Oh. I didn't mention Mid-Island earlier. That's because in the middle, not on the north, not on the south, so they stuck them in the middle. If you love amazing views, then you will very much like neighborhoods such as Todd Hill, Emerson Hill, and Lighthouse Hill. Get it? The Hills is part of the neighborhood name. And if you're more into the modern type of homes, then South Shore is the place for you. These you will find in neighborhoods like Southeast Annadale, Huguenot, Eltingville, and even Tottenville. Staten Island Live, which is a local news channel, had recently did an article using data provided by Cyber and the MLS using geographic mapping looking at the top selling neighborhoods in the recent year of 2022. Let's look at the facts. I'm sure you're curious to know if you live in one of the desired neighborhoods. I'm pretty sure you are curious too and you want to know if you live in one of the desired neighborhoods that's on that list. You know what, how about you make a guess first, put it in the comments, and then we can have fun finding out if your guess was on point. Ah, let's look at what we have here. So. They actually broke it down to a lot more than just three, North, South, and Middle Island. So let's look at South Shore. This includes the communities of Annadale, Southeast Annadale, Arden Heights, Rossville, Woodrow, Huguenot, Princess Bay, Pleasant Plain, Charleston, Richmond Valley, and Tottenville. Number of closed sales were at 664, and that puts South Shore on first place. Gateway, which is never part of the MLS, includes the communities of New Dorp, Oakwood, Oakwood Beach, Oakwood Heights, Bay Terrace, Great Kills, and Eltingville. And the number of closed sales were 579. That's number place number two. North Shore includes the communities of New Brighton, Snug Harbor, Livingston, Randall Manor, West Brighton, Port Richmond, Mariners Harbor, Graniteville, Arlington, Bloomfield, and Elm Park. Number of closed sales, 397, puts this at place number three. Heartland includes the communities of Willowbrook, Manor Heights, Bulls Head, New Springville, Heartland Village, Travis and Lateret. Actually, that's what we call Mid-Island. Number of closed sales is 353. Greater St. George includes the communities of Fort Wadsworth, Concord, Shore Acres, Rosebank, Clifton, Stapleton, Tompkinsville, St. George, Ward Hill, Park Hill, and Grimes Hill. Number of closed sales, 278. Greater St. George would be also part of the North Shore. The Lakes includes the communities of Westerly, Sunset Hill, Sunnyside. Number of closed sales is 273. The East Shore includes the communities of Arcar, Grasmere, Old Town, South Beach, Dungan Hills, Dungan Hills Below Highland, Grant City, and Midland Beach. Number of closed sales are 261. And then the Hills includes the communities of Emerson Hill, Toad Hill, Lower Toad Hill, Lighthouse Hill, Richmond Town, High Rock, Dungan Hills Colony, and Emerson Hill. And the total number of closed sales here were 146. 
I do think that stats are great overall if you want to get technical. I also believe that it's an indication of the possibility maybe there were more homes available for sale in the specific neighborhood or maybe these homes were more affordable. Did you make the list? And do you live or move into one of these neighborhoods? It really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, your home is your home and you love it. Thank you for joining me today. Do click on that like button, the subscribe button, and hit that bell. And if you didn't comment yet, please do it now.